Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been talking about the Weaver 2 theme and showing you how you can set it up and get it changed. And right now we're going to go into under main options and layout. This is the dashboard and we went over general appearance. I'm going to go over to layout. Okay, here you can change the theme width. That's how wide it is from here to here. Which kind of makes a difference for this too, because kind of some of these things are interconnected. Let me refresh the page because I changed it. We don't have that yellow back there anymore. Okay. Okay, let's make the theme a bit wider. Uh, then we'll go back to what it was. Okay, we changed it to 1250. Let's see what it looks like over here. We'll refresh the page. And you can see it's a lot longer. And it went ahead and resized this to go with it, which is pretty smart that way. I kind of like it back the other side, so I'm going to go back. But if you have a lot of stuff going on here and you want to make it wider, and the other thing to be aware of is how many pixels your computer screen or your people are. If they have some of the older things, they're going to be half scrolling back and forth. Uh, the newer laptops and things, they're going to have the wider ones on it. Uh, but anyway, I like to... I like the extra space. I don't like to have to read back and forth so much. I'm going to switch back to where it was. Now this right here, you make sure that it stays a certain uh, width and doesn't change. I don't want to use that for a couple reasons. One of them is um, if you use the mobile view, and a lot of people look at things on mobile, this can break the mobile support and it might not, you know, no one can disable it, won't work well. So I just assume have my site work well from mobile devices, and I'm going to leave that unchecked. And here you have the theme margins, and this will be the top and the bottom and the right and the left, and some wrapper padding. And what's really good is each of these will tell you what's standard. And that way if you forget and you change it and you want to go back to where it was, well, there's the directions for you there. And this is the top and bottom margins around the whole site. And the uh, it tells you where the wrapper padding is between the wrapper edges and the header and the content. Uh, that's kind of the different spaces you have in different places. And you can edit those if you wish. I'm going to leave them alone. Most of these are good as is. Now here's something you may want to do. You may want to change your sidebars where they're at. Right now i got one column sidebar on the right. Now I could put it on the left. I could put double ones on the right. And I could have the top one wide. Go ahead and show you what that one would look like. Okay, here it is with the double columns on the right. And it's got this wide one at the top. You can put things on you want wider, and then you can have two columns down below. Then you can go in here, and you can change it to any of these things. You can have the wide one on the bottom if you want. You can have a sidebar on the right and on the left. You can put them on the left. You can have no sidebars at all. And this is where you go ahead and uh, set these items. Now these are your archive-like pages. You have the same choices as you had before there. And that could be like when you've got your things archived, or like if someone was to search for a certain term, and then it would pull up the results on it. And that's what would show there. You have more choices here. Um, again, same choices you had before in regular pages. This would be up for all of them that you might want to have general, and then you may change things down here. And you have all those same choices. And so you might have sidebars um, on some pages and not on others, depending on what your needs are. Now maybe you've got a certain size, um, maybe some buttons and boxes and things for advertisers that are a certain size. And you may want these sidebar areas so it will fit just right for those. Well, then you can go ahead and go over here and change the percentage of the width for the sidebars, and this will kind of change change it for you, and that will change your size. Weaver's quite flexible. We'll let you change these things and change how your site will look, get it the way you want it. Uh, have fun with this, and I'll be back. Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers.